Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video for you guys that I thought was a great chance to kind of utilize everything that I was showing you guys in my makeup haul video, which if you haven't seen, please click here and you guys will be able to watch my um, makeup haul video. But um, like I said, I've been trying out a lot of new products and I wanted to put them to good use. I did this look in the video and I got, you know, some good compliments on it. So I figured why not do a video for you guys where I am doing that look. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, which I think is perfect for the fall because of the nice dark colors and the dark lip, then go ahead and just keep on watching. I'm going to start off with the Master Prime primer that I was telling you guys about in the video. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that, probably about that much. And I just kind of tap it on the cheeks first, and the chin, then the forehead, and rub that in. So while I wait for all my primer to just kind of set in on the skin, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. I'm just using some Urban Decay Primer Potion. But the first color I'm going to use is going to be the color Semi Sweet from the Chocolate Bar Palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my crease. with salted caramel which is the lighter brown and I'm going to go ahead and throw that just lightly above the color that we just put down and I'm just doing very light-handed circular motions over it now I'm going to go into the white chocolate I'm going to apply that to our brow bone just to highlight all of that before I go blending it I'm gonna go in with the naked palette and I'm going to use the color strange this is the naked three and I'm going to also apply that just to kind of lighten it up a little bit focusing this color more towards where your arch is and then blend it out. Now we're gonna go back into the Naked 3 and we're gonna grab this color called Liar. And we're just gonna apply that to our lids. We're gonna go back into our Chocolate Bar Palette and we're gonna take Cherry Cordial, which is this really gorgeous like red brown, it's so pretty. And we're going to apply that to the outer portion of our eye. Just kind of doing circular motions there also. I told you guys I was like super in love with this palette so I was like I have to show them what I've been doing. I seriously have been doing so many different combinations of all of these palettes together. And then I always like to just go back in again with my blending brush. I don't put any more product on it but I just like to really blend all of that together. So that's pretty much it just for the eyeshadow on the eyes. Like I said, it was a really simple look. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my mascara. So make sure to curl up your eyelashes. And apply mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara as always. So because I'm going to just wash this off after I'm done with it, I only did one coat of mascara, but normally I would do two, so it's going to look a little bit different, but I wanted to just get this video filmed for you guys. It's like 7.40 at night, so I'm trying to utilize any time that I get throughout the day, the night, whatever, to get some videos out to you guys, so please bear with me, you guys. I'm trying my hardest. My master's program is literally done in six months. In six months, I will hopefully have the best content out to you guys, but until then, just bear with me. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I use a pump, and I just kind of split it up throughout the face. So I'll do a couple. This was kind of too much. I don't normally do this big of a pump. I don't know what I was thinking. That's okay. And blend it out. Like I said, I don't normally do this big of a pump. I think I just wasn't paying attention. Either way, we're just going to go in and blend it out. Look at how smooth it seriously makes your skin look. 
I love it. Now I'm going to use the Maybelline concealer that I told you guys about. This is number 330 Nude. And I'm going to use that to just kind of brighten up underneath my eyes here. And then I kind of highlight the forehead, down the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna take a wet sponge and just really blend that all into the skin. I like to just kind of do padding motions like this. And what I really wanted to focus on was really straightening out where our, where our eyeshadow was. So see how I'm just kind of straightening out that line? So there's no like excess eyeshadow coming off over here. I'm then going to attempt to bake with the e.l.f. high definition powder. So I just take that and apply it right on top of where we just put that. And while I'm letting that sit, I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. I'm using this Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics Caribbean Sun Duo in the color Aruba. And this is the contour I've been using quite frequently, as you can tell. It's already hit pan. And I'm just gonna go ahead and first kind of draw out my contour. I like using this like stiff brush for this, because look at that. So nice. And I go down my nose. And then I go across the big forehead. And then I take a fluffier brush and I go through and blend that all out. Then I'm going to fill in my brows so they can start to make the look look like it's coming together here. I use the Second Love eyebrow little thingy here. I use the lighter color. And then I just pretty much color them in. And then I just go through and kind of comb that out so that it doesn't look super harsh. I was watching some of my old videos and I was just like, holy crap, like seriously, my makeup game has evolved. I mean, I'm not saying I'm like amazing at makeup now, but I was really crappy at makeup and I had the thinnest freaking brows in high school. You guys, I don't even know how you dealt with me. Like seriously, they were so thin. I was like, what the hell was I thinking? But anyway. So this is what it looks like when the brows are on. You can tell it makes like a huge difference because they're so much nicer. I'm gonna go ahead now and kind of dust off my little bakey powder here. And I'm gonna go into that cherry cordial again and apply that right under the eyes. And use my finger to kind of blend it out a little bit. And I like to do it kind of like about halfway in. I don't like to do the full eye because I just feel like it's a little overpowering. So I'll just go like about halfway in and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply thin layer of mascara to the lower lashes. While I wait for those to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some blush on my cheeks. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. blush in the color Berry Amour, which is super nice. And I'm just gonna do a very light dust of that on. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and start my lips because I don't like to try to do eyeliner while the lower lashes are wet because then it gets all over the place. But I'm gonna just take the Simply Vamp NYX Lip Cream in the color She Devil, which was this really nice dark one. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to my lips. Now we have our lips on. Hopefully I did that fairly well. I always draw my lips really weird, but anyways, I'm gonna take the NYC liquid liner and I'm going to attempt to do this on camera. I never can do this on camera, so. 
cross your fingers for me, girl. Okay. All right. Not too shabby, not too shabby. And then to do the wing, I always take the NYC like felt tip liner and I just go from where my eyelids meet, like my upper and lower part of my eye. And then I connect it. And then my 700,000 eyeliner, I take the elf liner and I extend the wing a little bit. Final step that I do is I just go back in and recurl my lashes. A lot of people don't like to do this, but I do. I just try not to rip out my lashes. Um, but okay, we're gonna go in, do a nice soft curl. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's all in my head. I don't know, but I feel like there's a difference, especially when I'm wearing two coats of mascara. The last thing I do is take this NYX mattifying spray and spray my face. So that is pretty much all there is to it. This is the look that I was wearing in my makeup haul video. So I hope it was like super easy for you guys to follow. It's a very simple look. It didn't really take too much effort, but it still looks flawless because you know, you're adding like these deep colors to make it look more intense than it really is. But so everything is always gonna be listed down at the bottom description bar for you guys, the products that I used. Um, also, I have all my coupons down there. So if you guys are ever on the lookout for some awesome hair tools, I always post all my new me coupons down in the description bar for you guys. Um, right now, we're having like a super awesome deal on a flat iron. It's one of their new flat irons, and it's going for $21 right now. So if you are in the market for a flat iron, definitely check out this coupon because you'll get one for $21, usually like $129 value. So that's like super awesome. Um, I also put all of my social media and everything down below for you guys to follow me. Um, this is my Snapchat. You guys can check out what it is that I do on a daily or weekly basis. Um, whenever I do upload a story, sometimes they're really boring, like my day at work, or sometimes they're fun, like if I'm doing something fun for the weekends. So if you want to just kind of keep up with my life, Snapchat's a good way to do it. I will also post my Facebook. And you guys can follow me there. I ask you guys tons of questions about videos. I post a bunch of random stuff that I just think that I should talk to you guys about. Facebook is kind of where I do a lot of my, hey guys, this is what I was thinking. Um, so definitely follow me there. Um, always follow me on Twitter for a bunch of random things that I like to talk about. I don't know. Most of the time I'm just like literally retweeting a bunch of stuff about like people that I love, like Desi and Lester Lux, seriously, I don't know. Anyways. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next video.